Hello, Reckon7, and welcome back to Strategic Command, uh, obviously American Civil War, although we're not going to be playing the American Civil War. So I was uh, covering this recently, we did the Blood and Iron free DLC for the Franco-Prussian engagement, um, and I, I must be playing that, give me a little bit of a, an urge to play some more Strategic Command. And in fact, at the time I was reading uh, Scourge, or listening to via Audible, uh, Scourge of War by, I think it's James McPherson's name, and it's like just a, a collection of essays on the Civil War that this person had written. And so covering a whole different facets from uh, European intervention to question of slavery to uh, some things about Grant and, and all sorts of stuff. Very interesting. But uh, those two things going on at the same time was like, oh yeah, quite fancy get back in and maybe having a go at the Confederates. Because I've not done that, I've not played a full playthrough as Confederates yet. However, it turns out that, um, you know, Matrix and Fury had some different ideas um, and they announced and then released a DLC in rather short order. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to uh, stick a pin in the Confederate playthrough and pick up uh, a go at that instead. So this uh, DLC, The War in the Americas, adds. Uh, five, five new scenarios, I think. We'll go through them, find out. Um, so we've got the Mexican-American War of 1846. They're dealing with the conquest of, uh, what was it, New Mexico and as Alto California, is that what Mexicans call it? Uh, as well as kind of confirming the annexation of or, Texas. Uh, we've got this Eagle and the Empire, which is French intervention in Mexico, uh, but it does a little bit of alternate history and assumes that alongside that, the Union and France declared war on each other, so it's a bit of an expanded campaign, that one. Uh, we've got the Paraguay, um, well, Paraguay against Brazil and Argentina, which is actually a really interesting little war and you read about it, considering the size of armies involved. Um, and then we've got, so that's the Chile-Pacific War, and then we've got the Spanish-American War of 1898. So, what was that? One, two, three, four, five. Five new uh, campaigns, all covering different time periods and conflicts. Um, and yeah, and all thrown in the DLC, so quite interested to have explore some of these. And the one we're going to play with this evening is going to be Conquest of Mexico, so 1846 start. Uh, so, quick squeeze at victory conditions. So the US has to hold New Orleans, Austin, Santa Fe, uh, Chihuahua, Monterey, Veracruz, and Mexico City. Well, that is interesting. What is, and we'll, we'll talk about it a little more, quite interesting, especially in the Veracruz and Mexico City objectives, was obviously historically that was... Uh, through a big uh, naval invasion, that was probably one of the one of the first, but a significant uh, naval invasion for the time, because it wasn't we weren't particularly common. Uh, Mexicans, uh, Mexico City, San Luis, Veracruz, Chihuahua, Monterey, and Austin. Okay, fine. That's some. Let's worry about that when we get involved in it. I am going to be playing as Mexico. Yes, I would like to play as Mexico. We are going to be stalwart defenders against the expansionist aims of a, an imperialistic neighbour. Who wants nothing more than to eat our territory. I'll just leave it on the default settings because I have no idea how well or how poorly it's balanced for each side. Uh, so let's just leave it on default. I would like all of those things, please. As I usually play with. And let's have a go, let's have a look. So I don't know huge amounts about the Mexican American War beyond about 20 minutes I spent on Wikipedia during my lunchtime today. That's generally how I end up reading about things, is that I find a game or something, a scenario, and uh, and that prompts me to read about stuff. Really, no... No flavour text pop-up. Okay, interesting. Well, I better do my best to do the background. So, obviously, you have Texas, which at this point is part of the uh, Union. They, they obviously had the, the Texan... Uh, Mexican War previously, which obviously Texas, Texas won, although at this point the Mexicans had not uh, given up their territorial claims. So obviously Texas, their view was the Rio Grande was the border between the countries, whereas uh, California was pushing for, and I can't remember the name of the river, a different river, um, San Antonio, Guadalupe, it might have been this one, the new, new this one, <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce that. Yeah, I think this was the river they, which they believed was their territory. Um, so that that was still an open question. I mean, obviously you've got... Uh, well, do we not have California in this map? Interesting, so you've got New Mexico, and then over to the west, uh, Alto California, which all the colors. Was it California, Utah, Arizona, 
I think it's little bits of Wyoming, Colorado. But apparently we're not playing that far west, which is interesting because there was campaigns out there. Uh, there wasn't huge amounts of fighting, but there, it was, uh, I was going to say liberated, it was secured by the Americans. Uh, okay, so what, and, and, and it's interesting because the armies of the time, I believe the Mexicans had a, numeric, a numerical superiority um, in terms of equipment at the start of the war, very similar, so, so we, we, I'm becoming Mexican already, utilizing uh, muskets, I think it's predominantly brown besses if I remember correctly, um, so kind of flintlock muskets, the Americans had flintlock muskets, so they were Springfield flintlocks, uh, although they did replace them with slightly better muskets as the war progressed. Uh, artillery, again, very similar types, um, but the the difference was that uh, our army was rubbish, really. <laughs> so at this point, um, Mexico is like, um, what are we, 40, so it's like 25 years old, if that. Very, very new country. Obviously kind of fought one more and lost it. Um, has issues with its kind of confederation of states. Uh, and apparently in real life, like only, I think it was like seven of the 16 states actually supported men and materials for the war effort. Um, you know, the usual kind of poorly trained, poorly motivated, uh, not a very good army all in all. Uh, and, and, and apparently America was a little bit better in terms of their uh, professional officer corps and, and the like. Um, yeah, and so, so things did not go particularly well for the Mexicans. But we'll see if we can change it. Right, that's a lot of witching. Let's maybe have a look at it. So, in terms of our main objectives, so we have Monterey. Can it show me? It's in. No quits. Options. Victory conditions. Uh, no. Where is it? Should be victory conditions. It does show me it somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So, New Orleans and Austin. And oh, Santa Fe is mine. Santa Fe, Chihuahua. Right, so these ones I've got to defend. Monterey. Where's New Mexico? Chihuahua, Chihuahua, and... Santa Fe, New Mexico. Undefended, that's worrying. And then on the flip side, we want to push the Yanks out of... Austin. And really, New Orleans, that's a long way away. So I think we've got... I, I didn't mention the time, just 48 turns. Um, in this scenario, so we'll see. We might end up on a minor victory. I don't really want uh, you on the front line. Can we cross this river? Yes, we can. Okay, that's something at least. Hmm, this is very interesting. And you are engineers. Okay, let's have a quick look at what we've got in terms of production. So it's April and May, June, we get a bunch more infantry and a horse, and then some more in July, August. And that is all. Um, we cannot buy anything at the minute, okay. I mean, okay, we've got no money either. Okay. So I lots of things that I'm going to say. Is that really all the forces we have? I feel woefully undersupplied here. So we've got a dude in Mexico City. Veracruz defended by four. So also it was a famous naval invasion there and they pushed in towards Mexico City. How well I feel like I'm gonna send you over the river and go stand on Rancho Davis. Also want to switch you two around. Maybe we'll adopt a kind of defensive posture. Well sure we'll invade. Uh, historically, the, the um, Americans sent a small force into the Mexican territory, because we're 80 dudes, um, or men, I suppose, as attrition known, who then probably got massacred by the Mexicans, and that's what prompted the official US declaration of war. A little bit schneidy, if you ask me, but hey ho. Right, so this is all, is this all just, I can't I need to get a middle, middle size zoom here, is this all just um, Indian territory, Comanche territory? Okay. Yes, it is. Okay, so do I, I mean, I don't know if I want to push this way, if I just want to hold here and then uh, attempt to push in from the south. That probably makes the most bet. We'll see. 
I don't I've got no blooming troops. Okay. Funsies. Um I don't think I've got any navies or anything else, do I? Let's do my quick squeeze make sure I'm missing something, you know, important like an army somewhere. Okay, we've got one dude over in Mazatlan. And that's it. Are we really gonna have to invade me here? I don't know. Oh well let's just end the turn and see what happens. This is peculiar. Hey, UK's giving me some points. Thanks, UK. So at the same time as um, Mexico and America's in it kind of under this argy bargy, the uh, British and Americans are arguing about Oregon territory. And in fact, in the end, are we really not getting any more people in? Hmm. Well, John, I really I want to send you marauding if anything. Now, do have to watch supply because it's going to be presumably pretty terrible. Ah, not that bad. There's a, there's secondary supply, so I'm not I'm not going to be able to cut them off. We could uh, maybe try and nab a few of these towns if there's no one that interesting. Hello. Okay, this is good. I, I well, that's not good, but hurting their HQ, it seems like a, a beneficial thing to be doing. Do I really want to try and push on the likes of Fort Brown? I kind of thought they'd come for me. Hmm. You know, let's do it. Let's... Be a little bit aggressive, see if we can't inflict some casualties. We may even try and surround this fine fellow. I'll head down here. Um, maybe, or attack, trying to get their guns or something. You, my man, let's get you forced march over to assist. That's fine and dandy. You're not really doing anything in Chihuahua, but. Head you marching. If anything, I want you probably wouldn't garrison one of these towns to stop them pushing in because I don't think they're going to come in via the Indian territory. Um, yeah, hold up there. So, what was I saying? Yeah, so the, the um, they eventually struck a deal with the British to agree what was obviously the border between Oregon and that bit of Canada, which many felt was too easily given to the Brits. Uh, I think I'm going to try and... Oh, God. Get mullered by... Yeah, I quite like that. Okay. Well, that's not so good, though. Okay. Aha! No, not down here. I want you up here. How far... Oh, my God. You're so far away! You're really far away. It's for no closer capital. Durango. Okay. This looks challenging. Uh, okay. We'll pop you out here is the closest place, but it's going to take me a while to get you up there. You get them on the roads. Now you're going to get seen if you go there and there. All right, come over this way. There we go. I'm going to take a little bit of manoeuvring to... Uh, get this fine fellow cut off. But I think we shall get there. That's like worrying. I don't know if anyone. I've got no one defending Monterey. 
hopeful they don't just push in and nab it, because that would be slightly embarrassing if I let that happen. Okay. Maybe too aggressive here. Oh, I never looked at purchases, I'll do that in a minute. The Bear Flag Revolt begins. California declares independence from Mexico. You assume you could divide Oregon ter territory, like I was talking about. Hello. It's one Marauding Corps, of course, which is annoying, but we can deal with that. Okay, we survived, that's okay. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to start by trying to... Yeah, let's go this way. Pick out this horse, and then we'll move on to concentrating on the chap in... I go there. I mean, I feel like you're just going to get mullered by this gentleman. Okay, hold fire. How reinforced we are? Yeah, okay, do that. And then let's get you let's force marching, I'm afraid, as quickly as you can towards Monterey. I'm going to send you up these back roads. And we'll do one turn of force marching for you, gentlemen. He's probably going to be up this way and out. And then you can march slowly after that to try and keep some composure. Uh, let's head you up this way since it's a bit closer. You can go over there. Okay. And I know we don't really like it, right? I have money. I have money. I can buy things. I probably want to buy another HQ fairly early on. I think they are going to make a bit of a difference. Santa Ana's only at four. I, probably should, I feel like I haven't spent money quite quickly enough. Okay, let's get you. And then a regiment. I do not will grab a regiment because there's quite a lot of land and areas. And having someone you can just stick in a town, I think, is going to be fairly useful. Um, you are not in a great spot, so let's pull you. I don't really want to give up a town, actually. We're going to stand here. I may regret it, but we'll see how it goes. I'm probably going to try and get you parked at least in Bahia or, I don't know, somewhere up here. We shall see. Things aren't looking great for the Mexicans. No, you don't run. You don't get to run away. Hello. I think we're going to get a kill here, at least. Okay, more brigades. Excellent. Probably still miles away. Now, I should probably keep a few people in around here in case we decide to go for this invasion of Veracruz. Now, what new units have we got? Two regiments. Hmm. Okay, let's keep... I can put new people down here a lot quicker. Torn I am, torn. Alright, let's keep at least one down here. Hedge my bets, make both outcomes worse. Good. You're going to force march again. I know it's going to trash your morale and readiness. It's actually soaking you. I don't need you to fight straight away. Apparently it's going to take you a while to get over this way. Ah, uh, that way it was quicker. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. Okay, so we get first kill. I like this. Oh. Well, that's mildly annoying.
His supply is five. Let's and let's go to. We're gonna be a little bit bolt here and let's hammer him as well. And let's make sure we block his escape routes off. And you can go and recapture our territory and maybe we'll have we squeeze towards Laredo. I'd love to do a bit more uh, scouting out here with my horses. Horses for courses. Now, where was their little incursion? Oh. Well, that's problematic. I got, I got nothing up here. So that horse is just going to walk into Santa Fe. I don't know if there's much I can do about it. Okay. I feel like cavalry is going to be pretty useful. Let's get one of them. Mm, well, I've kind of already committed you, so you're going this way. Maybe I send you up towards uh, New Mexico. Maybe it's just one we'll have to come back for the end. Okay, I think we're done. Been raided. I don't think we're contesting the sea. Oh, hello, cannon on your own. Oh, no explosion. Okay, fine. Okay, one cavalry brigade destroyed. Really, two to one. Well, actually, all I'm going to do is... Uh, yeah. Uh, I might step back. I will allow... Well, I might allow him to retreat, I suppose. Alright, we'll hold there. That could be a little bit painful for them. Your supply is now two. We will still hold off on that. Did Toby up any further? No. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Ah, what to do about a problem like you? I think, well, you... Keep marching. Horses I can make do with over here, so let's do that. Thank you, I'm going to send you towards this road. See if we can't scout out a little bit. One to one is not great odds. We'll give him another turn sweating. We can bring our other infantry, although they need a little bit of R&R. We will keep trying to bulk out our horses. Oh, wait, can I, could I have raised? I could have raised people in New Mexico. Okay, that's what I should have done. Oh, I hope that doesn't come back to bite us. Hey, Lincoln. Okay, I'm all, of, all, all aboard that decision. Hello. I'm going to run away. rain comes. Right. Let's just drop you there, that's fine. So I should have gone to here, to here, and then, yeah, okay. Should have done that, like, straight away. Say la vie. These forces are getting in. I think we do need to fall back. Do 
is okay because we should be able to push in behind them a little bit. So let's bring you back to here. And can you get all the way back? No, you're coming down this way, which is okay. We'll see if we can get you healed up next turn. You are still a prime target to take. Especially when I stand here. Beautiful. Okay, that's a very expensive piece we're about to kill. It makes me happy. Does it offset the loss of Santa Fe? Well, of course not. What are you going to do? And then you, I think, are going to treat to San Fernando. Oh, you're in a town. My bad. Make sure he's got nowhere fun to go. Okay. I think it's everyone. You've moved, you've moved. These gentlemen are generally trying to stay put. Just more troops. Santana returns. Huzzah! Oh, again for free. Oh, and some soldiers. Nice. I see them both. Oh, Vegas. I'm hurting. I'm hurting about Santa Fe. Oh, hello. Okay. Let's at least do that. You can head back down, and then you, I'd like to start pushing out over here. Uh, we are going to spend a turn giving you some heals. Oh yeah, let's make you a full strength one as well. Uh, can I top you up? No, but I can top you up, which I think I will. Two to one is usually worth it, and let's keep him weak. I'm okay with that. Keeps me weak as well, but you know, kind of everything. Now I'm regretting having healed some of these people. Ah, he ran away. Okay, no, it's fine. So I'd like to again try and if they move forward, cut them off. I'm gonna have some horses to help and some other soldiers. I'm guessing if I'm getting more soldiers, so is he. Head up the road towards Chihuahua. Let's get you full strength, even though you're weak garrison. Uh, and the other one's gonna fall. Okay. And no, Santa. Well, let's keep Santa Anna down here for just now. Well, that's an actual. Uh, what are these class stats? Grade, regiment, it's not core. Division? Division. Let's head you out towards the coast. See if we can head off some kind of Yankee invasion. Good. How are we for units? Uh, very easy. Even. Very even. Okay. Gift. That was a gift.
We've given ourselves a challenge, I suppose. <sighs> Whoops. Oh, it's right. Sl sludging something off, right? What happens to. Oh, I get an apple people now. Cool. How much are these? 275. I won't be doing that. Well, that's a healthy amount of Americans. Let's see if we can't reduce it slightly. Nice. Uh, you are going to have to pull back for some R&R. &R. Let's... Uh, no, okay, let's pull back with you as well. I'm going to have you cross the river. Can you not see in Corpus Christi? That feels odd. How's your supply next turn? Two. Oops. A little bit overextended. I still want to uh, ride into trouble. At least we've cut off this. Well, not Hamcot's pile. The spy lines are there, but. You're fine, dandy. You're moving north. I'm just gonna quietly cry, but in New Mexico, you've moved up to the front. I don't know what my arm will see. Alright, let's keep our money. Let's see if we can sell and buy ourselves some Indians. Advancing. Hmm, okay, Trixie. You're up here. Well, let's put some people on this road. We'll head out towards that supply depot. We'll maybe leave two of you down here for just now. Maybe swing you slightly further north into Jalapa. So, if need be, I can swing you south, but that is something we're definitely going to keep an eye on. In fact, you are a relatively good position to come down and do a little bit of garrison for me as a garrison unit. That's Nab Corpus Christi, so we give it supply. It annoys me that I can't see into Matamoros. I would like to try and the squeeze in on uh, this regular. If I go there, I'm going to attack opportunity, which sucks. Already. Okay, let's do that. Now this guy's not in great shape. He's also standing on a river tile. We'll just switch out. We'll do it this way. We'll also take one to one. I don't know if I'm quite going to get a kill here. Uh, you run away. And I still can't see the town. Come on, gentlemen. 
I mean, it's not going to be ungarrisoned. <sighs> you kidding me? Alright. Let's take our frustrations on him. <laughs> Just like dancing around him. Alright. Bold? Yes, what's your supply? Supplies eight and corpse creepy, that's beautiful. Let's do it. Nice. I know there's someone at Laredo, at least. Although, they're out of supply. We might be able to force that. Okay. It's going okay down there. We definitely need to head north. We've got enough for our first Navajo Indian Regiment. You just kind of hang out there, which is fine, I suppose. You guys all moved. Here. You haven't, but I'm not doing it. I refuse to fall into such a trap. So that's it. Yeah. Alright. Yes, I do really want to end my turn. Johann Gottfried Gall discovers Neptune. Oh, cool. Didn't know that's when that happened. Hello. Gade, um, so we've got quite a lot of troops coming north for the, the, to deal with that, so I think you can probably be sent to the far north. Yeah, and having another HQ around here would be useful. Uh, the horse, I think I'm actually going to send this way, because there's not much you can do against a solitary soldier. Santa Ana is going to take a long time to get up there. forces. So I think I might just have to uh, bite the bullet here. So I'm going to have someone stand here, but I don't really care about it. It's probably going to be you. Here we go. Oh, two. Eh, two for one. I've had worse. Right, let's try to work on killing this gentleman this time. for one. It's not ideal. Oh, interesting. Okay. Let's give you a bit of love and attention. Can you two gentlemen swap? You can. We'll bring you down to Reynolds and we'll look kick this guy out next turn. Meanwhile. He has got 10 supply, apparently. I wonder if I cut the river if he gets zero supply. I don't know. We shall find out. Save up for another native regiment. So 
I would like to keep pressure up in New Mexico. Good. Ish. Big map, not many units. Interesting. Dangerous. Good retreat, I support that. That's not a good retreat, I don't support that. Did you just take out... Ugh. I've mismanaged my Northern Theatre. So does that mean... I've lost... NATO. Oh, God dang it. That's hurt me more. That's most of my wasted points have gone. Okay, I mean, artillery is fantastic, isn't it? Another one of those, please. Okay, there was a horse up here. You just killed yourself. Come back for our friend over here. Uh, meanwhile, let's see if we can kick you out. Four to one, that's a good start. I ain't done with you yet, my son. He's on our way. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, who's in best? Nick. Not many people. It's but you in the town. <sighs> well, that's okay. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, really good. You guys get a little bit of love. Six is pretty low. Let's put our engineers out here. A little bit exposed, but that's okay. I want them to maybe draw some attacks. We'll see, they might try and break their horses out, but that's looking okay. How's it? Oh, 30. Oh. This is very open as well. At least we'll see. We shall see how we end up. With Someone is going to have to take the brunt of this attack. There you go. Don Santa Ana, you're south north, and you think you're supposed to be in south north as well. Let's see if we can knock this fellow out. Probably difficult, but no wrong with that. Okay. So we'll have to do. supply, but I don't think it's going to help them. Two for two is not a great trade but yeah, for a division versus a regiment. They should die next turn. Love it.
Like so. I said like so. I mean, I could just leave them there, but no, let's finish up. I should be okay there with Corpus Christi. Yeah, ish, ish. Right, you are on an eight, and you're in a river. We could maybe kill you. Now you may run. I don't know if you get anywhere to run to. I don't think it's a great place for you to have run to, but okay. Go on. So nice. You need to pull back. Let's bring you up there and let's refresh you. Oh, uh, you can go to an eight. It's probably okay. We'll do that. And to be honest, if I'm going to put pressure these guys. It's probably going to be from this direction. So I'll leave, maybe leave a couple units and swing some other people around. Try and chip away. What brown would be next? I'm feeling, I'm feeling vaguely confident. Here, here I'm feeling like the world is falling apart. You sit yourself there. Problem is, right, so they can... Uh, I, actually, I'm maybe better falling back to... Carmen. Either way, they can go around eventually. If I just sit myself here, they can quite easily push down to Pathos and just cut me off. I might need to bring someone else north. This is a non-ideal scenario. Come on, Anna. Let's see if we build up enough oomph to knock this guy out. Anyone step forward. If they keep walking into the river line, it gives me an advantageous odds and I'll keep killing them off. I'm happy to do so. Uh, eventually their extra units are going to turn up from somewhere though. 31 to 25. Oof. I mean, I have lost like four units just to buying them in Mexico and them not appearing quickly enough. Which I'm somewhat kicking myself about. That's definitely a poor opening move. And with that, we'll bring this first episode to a close. So the war's going relatively well. We've contained the first naval invasion. I think the fights around Texas are going very much in our favour. Although we did uh, slip up slightly in uh, New Mexico. But at least that gives us maybe a little bit more of a challenge as we scramble to defend against the Yanks there. Either way, I'm having a lot of fun. Hope you've enjoyed this. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.